So let's talk a little bit about power transmission. Because shafts are often used to transmit power and we're using just prismatic shafts, they become really great examples for us in this course. When used for this purpose, they're subjected to torques and that, uh, uh, that depend on the power generated by the machine and the angular velocity of the shaft. So power is defined as work performed per unit of time and the work transmitted by a rotating shaft equals the torque applied times the angle of rotation. So for a period of time dt, an applied torque t causes the shaft to rotate d theta, and the instantaneous power is shown here as t times d theta by dt. Now, since the angular velocity is equal to d theta by dt and is denoted by omega, we can rewrite this as power is equal to omega times t, where omega is the angular velocity. Now, the angular velocity is in radians per second, and we can relate that to frequency because we often re refer to uh, rotating uh, or ci yeah, cyclic uh, movement as a frequency. And so the relationship between frequency and angular rotation is by multiplying by two pi. So we get the um, angular velocity in radians per second is equal to two pi times the frequency when related in hertz. And so we can combine all of this and get a formula for the power equal to two pi times uh, the frequency times the torque. And so here we have an example. And again, remember this is all about torque and torsion and shear stresses and shear strains. And so the one thing to remember as we set off on this example is that the power transmission is simply adding a step where we have to figure out the relationship between the power at the motor or the drag as a result of the pulley taking the, the power uh, off it, uh, off the shaft, what the torques are caused by them using the formula that we derived on the previous page. Once we get the torques and we have our free body diagram, everything else is exactly the same. So I encourage you to follow the link, go through this example, and see that other than this one additional step, it is exactly like what we did in the previous example before that.